Hello everyone, I'm Kirsten Amanda and I'm a floral watercolor artist from Canada. I wanted to share with you all today what I've been up to in 2023. I've made a number of positive lifestyle changes this year, which has made a massive impact in my productivity and overall happiness. I've been working on being more present with everything that I do, spending more time in my flow state during my creative practice, and just simply slowing down in life. The last two years have been insanely busy for me and my family, and although I can't change external factors that contribute to this, I found that by making some changes, I can really work on improving my internal well-being. So with all that said, I wanted to walk you through what my days look like with these habits that I've been doing every day this year and how this has positively impacted all areas of my life, including my mental health, my relationship with my partner, family, and friends, and most of all, my art practice. In addition to all of this, I have implemented a new system for my goals and projects which I cannot wait to share with you all. I've seen a major improvement of my art over the first couple months of this year and I know it sounds crazy that I've improved in such a short amount of time, but truly by making these changes it has allowed me to create so much space for growth and to really be present in the process of creating my art. The first change I've made this year is waking up at 6am every day. I usually like to move my body by doing Pilates or yoga, but if I'm feeling tired I listen to my body and take this time to do things like a face mask, hair mask, or painting my nails. I've also been taking vitamins that were recommended by my naturopath for a few months now, so I do that first thing in the morning as well. I also set aside 30 minutes for art admin to clear my mind from distractions throughout the day, so this is where I check emails, post on my social media, and reply to comments and DMs. I always start my day with a large glass of water and a cup of decaf coffee. I switched to decaf this year and it has made such a difference in the way that I feel throughout the day. Caffeine would make me feel so jittery, and I found that it was affecting my art as well. I also like to start my day with a big bowl of fruit in the morning. Another thing I've been doing this year is making sure I get ready every day, even if I'm not going anywhere. Taking care of myself is something simple I can do that I've found just improves my mental health and makes me more motivated for the day. After I get ready, I start work at my day job, which I primarily do from home. I've been putting my phone on do not disturb mode for work, which allows me to cut out all other unnecessary distractions. I've been much more present in my work and this has really made space for me to focus on what I need to get done. Another thing I've been doing during the day is opening the window for a few minutes to allow some fresh air to come in. This makes me feel alive and present and just freshens up the space. I also paint in the same room that I sleep in, so refreshing the room is really important. Even though it's been really cold out, opening the window is a small thing that I can do to improve my mental health. Plus, my cat also really enjoys this new habit. I have an hour break from work where I take time for creative practice. These are things like sketching, painting, or learning a new skill. This is not the time to work on projects such as editing or posting on Instagram, but to do all the things that I thought I never used to have time for. Taking time to just make a tea and pull out my sketchbook and really be present in this creative practice has allowed me to enter my flow state and help me make a huge amount of progress in my art. My sketchbooks are one of my favorite things to play around in and just create whatever comes to mind. I use my sketchbooks to try new things or to do tutorials, and I love filling them up with art that I can look back on and see my progress. I hand make my sketchbooks, but you can also buy sketchbooks with whatever paper suits your particular medium. 
doing these art practices in a very present state of mind has allowed me to feel more connected to my art and really have fun with it and let go of the feeling of being rushed and the feeling of perfectionism. While I spend time in my creative practice, I've been listening to audiobooks, podcasts, and classical music instead of putting on a show or a YouTube video for entertainment while I paint, which really gets me in the zone and is an opportunity to improve my mental health and my knowledge while I paint. I have recently been listening to this book on Audible called The Practice of Groundedness. I highly recommend this book as it has been an absolute game changer in improving how present I am in my life as well as being more grounded. I'm actually reading this book with my partner and our two close friends where we commit to a chapter a week and then share our takeaways from it and how we are implementing the practices into our daily lives. I will get into this a bit more later on and share the ways that I am practicing groundedness in other areas of my life. Prioritizing creative practice outside of my typical day-to-day tasks has been a really important time for me this year to just have fun with my art. I love trying new things and learning new techniques but I always felt like I never used to prioritize this. I needed to make a change this year to be able to spend time in this mindset and allow myself to have space to just create without the added pressure of perfectionism which has made me grow so much as an artist. Again, this is not the time to work on commissions or to film reels or work on a project. It's one-on-one time for me and my art. It brings me back to feeling like a child and just getting to put the paintbrush down and create and take risks. As Picasso said it perfectly, every child is an artist. The problem is how to remain an artist once we grow up. If you don't already have time set aside to do this, I would highly encourage you to. It's not time wasted, it's time spent growing and falling in love with the process. When I finish my creative practice, I take a few minutes to grab lunch, check my phone, and then back to work to finish out the day. I always like to take a break in between finishing my workday and starting on my art projects. Something that I found really helps me feel refreshed and get into a good headspace is leaving the house after working all day. This is usually a walk outside where I can connect with nature and get inspired. Walking is a great way to spend some quality time with my partner as well, and we really enjoy the feeling of coming back to our cozy and warm space after being outside in the cold. I never used to like walking in the cold, but I've actually found it's really refreshing and makes me feel like I've moved my body between sitting all day. After work and on evenings is when I get the majority of my projects done as far as my art business and painting goes. This particular evening, I'm working on editing my recent artwork in Photoshop and getting it ready for printing. If you want to see an in-depth tutorial on how I digitize my artwork and how I make art prints, I have two videos on my channel where I walk you through my entire process step by step. Between my day job and my small business, I typically work 60 to 70 hours a week, which is a lot, but it also really helps that I enjoy the process of my side hustle. Implementing the habits that I'm speaking about in this video that allow me to be more present have really helped with executing my goals and not feeling burnt out as well. One habit I've changed this year is not watching shows or going on social media during the weeknights and I would say this is one thing that has made the biggest impact in my life and my productivity. I have swapped out the screen time for things that help me take care of myself and further progress towards completing my goals. 
My evening routine now consists of planning, journaling, and reading. I start by lighting a candle and turning my phone to do not disturb because I find that not having my phone during the evenings really helps me wind down for the night and not become stimulated right before going to bed. I noticed that last year I had so many things that I wanted to complete but I always felt disorganized with what my priorities were, so this year I have been doing something a bit different. I've created a project planner that has allowed me to really prioritize what I need to do and stay focused with my tasks. Honestly, since starting this system for my projects, I've completed more goals so far this year than I did in 6 months of 2022. I set aside time to work on this for a few minutes each evening and it really helps keep me on track with what I want to accomplish. I wanted to share the way that I've been structuring my projects and goals with you all, so I have a link down below that you can follow to receive the free planner to use as a tool for yourself. In this planner, there's a space for a goal dump where you can write down all of your beautiful and creative ideas. From there, you can pick your top priority goals that you'd like to complete for the month and then break those down further into the steps you need to take to execute that goal. I have also provided a tool that you can use to plan the amount of time each goal will take to ensure you are setting realistic goals with the time you have available to work on projects each month depending on what you have going on in life. Some months I can complete more goals and others less so planning projects by month sets a very realistic plan so that you can stay on track with all your goals for the year. I've included a few journal prompts in the planner where you can reflect on the day, recognize the areas you can improve on, and get set up with your goals for the following day. After journaling, I like to read whichever book I have on the go. Right now, it's 101 Essays That Will Change the Way You Think by Brianna West, but if it's not this book, it's another book in the genre of self-development. Reading books like these has helped me be more mindful in my daily life and in my art practice. After reading, I'm feeling really tired and ready for sleep after a relaxing evening routine. Getting a good night's sleep is something that has also increased my productivity and my overall happiness, as well as getting out of bed full of energy and excitement to start the next day's tasks. I hope you've enjoyed this day in the life of all the things I've changed this year and I hope you take advantage of my planner to help you get closer to your goals and be more present in your life along the way. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.